All right, so we're getting into the rhythm of what it looks like to read the Bible. We're trying to think about how do I learn, how do I obey every day, and how I can change my life as a result. And again, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you've jumped into video seven. So there's six videos behind us that we need to make sure that you can get a chance to catch up on so that you don't miss anything, which is why you need to make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of the content that we are putting out. Now, today's reading is going to go back to the stories of Jesus's life, the Gospels, and we're going to be reading from a passage in the book of Luke. Now, this is a passage where Jesus is trying to show people the importance of not just reading his word. Well, they couldn't read it because he was still saying it, but not just hearing his word or for us reading the word. But what do you do with that? How do you actually apply that into your life? How do you live and respond? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause and I want you to go read Luke chapter 6, verses 46 through 49. Luke chapter 6, verses 43 through 49. Now that's why we keep talking about how important it is for us to not just hear the word, we've talked about learning, but to actually obey. I'm filming this from uh, near Tampa, Florida. Uh, I've lived in Florida almost all of my life. And so I have seen lots of news stories of what it looks like when a big storm comes through, a hurricane, a no-name storm comes through, the winds whip, the water beats, and houses sadly go away because they weren't built right. But I've also seen other houses go through the same weather and still standing. What's the difference? how the houses are built, what foundation they're built on. So here's the challenge. Both of those stories, the house builders knew how important the foundation was, but knowing how important the foundation was and actually applying that knowledge to our lives, big difference there. Not everybody does it. Does it? Does it? Does it? I don't even know their English language. Some of us, some of us know we need to exercise and eat right. Oh, don't you wish that was the same thing, the knowing it and the doing it were the exact same thing, but we've got to know it and then put it into practice. The knowing is only so helpful if we don't do anything with it. So what can we learn about learning and obeying? We need to know that and be reminded that learning about the Bible, it's really not enough, just learning it. We need to dig deep into our lives so that we can put the word of God there. We need to learn from this passage that storms will come in our lives. I mean, unless you're like an infant, and I don't even know how you got access to YouTube and why you picked this video, but you've probably had some storms in your life. And you're probably smart enough to know you're gonna have more of them. This scripture is not about how to avoid all of the storms that you may face. It's about how to build your life in such a way that you can sustain through any storm. Don't think that you can avoid them. Prepare for them. That's the lesson. And here's kind of a sad one. You don't know how well a house is built until it goes through the storm. You don't know really if you go, I'm fine how I am, and then the storm comes. That's not when you want to be building the foundation again. Start now, which is why we need to obey. This is our seventh video in this series. If you've been with us the whole time, you've been watching one or two a day, let me ask you this question. Have you actually started to put into practice any of the new thoughts and obedience points that you've come up with on a daily basis? Or have they all remained just in thought? Have you, can you, can you point to, can you identify one thing that you've changed, one thing you've started to say, started to say, stopped saying, one thing that you have stopped believing or started believing as a result of what we've been doing over the last few videos. If not, it's time to make those changes. Don't just be learning, be about the obeying. Don't just be about the hearing, be about the building to a deep foundation so that when those storms come, you're strong, not in your own strength, but in some foundation, in someone, in something that goes deeper and is stronger and can resist the storms even greater than we ever could in our own will.
All right, we've only got three videos left, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And I said I was filming this video from Florida. Leave a comment below where you are watching this video from. I can't wait to hear some of these answers. All right, we'll be back.